What's up YouTube? All right, so let's go through it by the thumbnail, by the title of this video, you know, these are the top tools for 2020 that made me the most money, saved me the most time, and I couldn't live without, basically. And we have a couple honorable mentions, but uh, obviously there's going to be some tools that are completely obvious, and some of you might not, you know, might not think they're obvious. Let's get into it. Get all this. Alright, so yeah, it's dumb trailer. What are you gonna what are you gonna say? Come on now. That's that's an easy one for me. Not only does it makes it not only does it make me money, but it's it saves me so much time having it on the job site and it's so it's so damn convenient. So hydraulics just make life easier. Um, you know, because you know skid steers have hydraulics. Um you know, low boy, uh, you know, f flat deck trailers have hydraulics. They have a hydraulic duck t uh, dovetail, you know, so, but the dump trailer, obviously probably the biggest one for this year, biggest purchase. That's yeah, that's number one. That's number one. And oldie but goodie is the tool trailer. Yeah, it's a mess right now. I mean, come on, what are you going to do? It's we're, we're working out of it. So and everything's on job sites but redoing my charging station here soon too because one snapped yeah absolutely but makes money because it saves so much time having my tools on the job site if i have I run into something having this trailer is an absolute i'm not gonna ha not have a trailer uh it's, it's just so it's so damn convenient it saves me so much time and money in inventory i you know i'll either think i forgot something i was like oh no i've got like 16 of those so yeah so number two obviously saving the time not in, it's you know directly corded you know it, it turns into money because of the time so here you guys go the tool trailer oldie but goodie yeah um fantastic I, I wouldn't have it any other way um just gotta just just gotta organize it and we're gonna be building stuff out here and redoing all this crap right here as well make room for everything else that we have for this so <sighs> tool trailer all right so number three for this business would be the employee that i have had two now we have one and realistically i have two additional subcontractors too they're pretty much full-time but having uh, having an employee although he's made some mistakes but it's act it, you know he, i can actually not be on jo a job site and still that job site has production being done on it so having an employee was one of the better things i've did this year and it is absolutely a tool for myself and for this business itself if you have the means and you you want the overhead it is a lot of overhead but at the same time you can get more work done. It makes life for me. I, you know, mounting just, you know, I used to, you know, mount 70 inch TVs by myself and it just pain in the ass. Now I have somebody to help me. We can get it done sooner. I'll raise my, I raise my rates a little bit just to help out. Um, obviously my bottom line jobs go by quicker. So yeah, I mean, number three, it absolutely has to be having an employee. Um, definitely one of the best tools that I had this year for the year 2020. It is absolutely an asset. And if you have the means, like I said before, definitely take care of it. Number four, Polk Smart Station. Absolutely, absolutely the best, uh, best little station I've built. I've only built two, so. But at the same time, it just—it's just efficiency. Getting, getting things cut, repetitive cuts. 
I haven't had it for very long, but at the same time, the, the short amount of time I've had it, man, I couldn't even imagine 2020 if I had it for the entire year. So that's what makes me look forward to 2021. Uh, get yourself the plans. Uh, Ron Polk's uh, website. Uh, just Google him. He's everywhere on YouTube pretty much if you're in the contracting uh, side of it. And get yourself some plans. Build it. It's absolute, It's an absolute asset. Like I say it all the time in this video. Man, is it great. We haul it down. It's, I don't even have it with me right now. I'll throw th you know pictures up here. But it uh, it's it's on a job site. Probably not being used right now. But it's going to be used tomorrow. It's used today. It'll be used the next day. It's it's just great. It's absolutely... do it, you know Take your time. Do it right. Build it the way you need it to be built, and it's 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 great. I would, you know, get whatever miter saw you have, just build it to suit it. Yeah, absolutely. Number four is absolutely the Polk Smart Station for sure. All right, so number five absolutely has to be my Graco 395 Ultra PC uh, sprayer. One of the uh, one of the probably two tools that I have that's not cordless. And it's an absolute must. It has made me so much money this year and last year. I would highly recommend if you do any kind of spraying, any kind of painting for production wise, like covering rooms, basement ceilings, man, kitchen cabinets, we got the tip for it. Get yourself a paint sprayer. Stop buying your tools, those things at Home Depot. Get yourself a quality contractor grade sprayer. It'll change your life. It is absolutely fantastic. It's an asset. I'll never be without one. Uh, I had to. Re I had to warranty a piece. I, I, you know, I ran. I didn't run. I think some water got somewhere it's not supposed to, and I had to replace something. It cost me like thirty bucks or something. So it, they're fant It was a fantastic buy. I'll absolutely. Uh, if something happened to it, I just have to go and buy another one because it's. They're so. I have jobs lined up, and I I bid jobs based on the fact that I have that tool, and it's an absolute asset. Make it's. Instant money. I, the first job that I bought it for, I, it paid for itself. Absolutely. It saved me probably four days of rolling and it paid for itself. So, I mean, come on. What, how, how much more can you... you know, it's it's heavy, but it's, it's absolutely worth its weight in gold for sure. Number six absolutely has to be table saw. My, this is my Milwaukee. Yes, it did break down a while ago. I had to get warrantied out but this is an absolute game changer and if you're doing anything you're going to need to make repetitive cuts it's a table saw job site table saw cordless it's i'll never be without one because it says you know we do a bunch of bay windows what rot repair you got to cut stuff down get yourself one these are absolutely <sighs> Yeah, it, I have to have one just because they're even a small, small cut. You might find yourself. I need to just take off a little bit of a, you know, a, a piece of wood just because you want to try to make something fit. It, there's so many uses for this tool. It's ridiculous. Um, number six absolutely has to be a table saw. <sighs> I'm waiting to see if uh, Milwaukee releases an MX Fuel 10 inch. Be great. This is not a 10 inch uh, saw. If they had a 10 inch saw, I'd definitely get it but i'll t i'll take this eight and i think it's an eight and a quarter inch blade so yes number six absolutely a table saw well you knew it was going to be in it this video number seven gen 3 milwaukee quarter inch hex impact uh this is my daily workhorse for anything i need to do that requires any kind of rotating screws in, um Man, I can't even. I today, today alone, uh, I got this thing really hot for working. So I've got, I mean, man, I have this one. I have, I think I have four of these, these Gen 3s, four or five of these because they're so, like, you know, I have AJ has one, my employee has one. Uh, if I need multiple bits, stuff like that, and just spares. So get yourself, it's a uh, model number 2853. Get yourself one. These are these are absolutely just complete assets. Just having having the impact, and they they got a crap load of torque too. So they're very small, lots of torque. Uh, Milwaukee hit, you know, their impacts are fantastic. Uh, having a, a quarter inch hex impact gives you, you know, you have a bit sets, and you can do pretty much anything you need to on a job site with with this tool. Um, there's not much you can't do with this. You know, lag bolts, hanging TVs, driving stuff into, you know, LVL beams. It's Get yourself one of these. Like this is absolutely a great tool. Fantastic. All right. So next on the list, Milwaukee's framing nailer. More specifically, the high capacity mag. 
that this high capacity mag actually is totally worth the money if you have the tool you can just obviously get two complete strips of nails in here and it's it's a time saver for sure so I obviously i still have you know the old hitachi uh metabo now it doesn't have the high capacity mag this still works fantastically uh between these two tools uh i have a review but but between these two tools they're both pretty much the same the milwaukee is a little heavier but the thing is i grab this one more often just because of the high capacity mag it's i don't have to reload so often and it does have a little extra power than the hitachi or metabo but it's because of the high capacity mag. This thing has saved me time just reloading. I don't have to worry about it. More often than not, I can just grab it, fire the couple nails I need to, and I don't have to worry about having to go get another strip. So absolutely, next on the list, was de Ooh, this has to be on your list. If you have the tool, get the high capacity mag. All right, as far as tools saving you time, that's why you buy them, because it makes your life easier. DeWalt's cable stapler, uh, Romex stapler, whatever you want to call it. This baby, I know they're coming out the newer version and it has like a depth adjustment and everything like that. But this baby, uh, I don't, I don't hate Romex jobs anymore. You know, stapling, you know, running coax. Man, this thing just absolutely saves you so much time on the job site. You don't use it every day, but when you do use it, you're like, oh, thank, thank God I got this tool because uh, they're fantastic. Uh, spring fired, so you just pop a battery in there. Make sure it's, you know, make sure it's indented correctly. And then you can just fire it in. You do, and that doesn't sink everything. You're not going to get everything completely tight. So, you know, I always hammer the first and the last one in, and then just, you know, everything else is just pretty for it. So, get your, if you ever do Romex cable or anything like that, you'll love this tool because it is just a time saver on the job site. All right, last but definitely not least, I have to say, even from last year, Makita's 36 volt track saw. Fan freaking tastic! Get yourself a track saw. It, it changes. It'll change your life. Absolutely, it's a it's a no brainer. It's one of those tools that you kick yourself for not buying sooner. I know people like I can do it with a circular saw. If you have a track saw, you're instantly more productive. You make more money. You're more efficient. And you're more accurate. It's just it's just a great tool. Um, not a new tool by any means. This thing's been out for, uh, you know, I think I've had this for at least a couple of years now. So, but I find myself using it every week, rather than ripping down plywood or making that, you know, small little cut on a door that I need to to make it fit. Man, get yourself a track saw, Makita's 36 volt, uh, you know, dual 18 volt battery, cordless track saw. It's they're fantastic. Uh, their tracks will fit with Festool. So in case you ever already have a Festool track, they're fantastic. I absolutely love it. It's one of the, my favorite tools regardless. I just, I find, I find jobs that I can do that I can use it just because I want to use it all the time. So I think that's about it. You guys like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Happy new year. 2020 was a great year for us. Uh, you know, we had to shut down for six weeks. It was great having six weeks with my daughter. Uh, here's the 2021 and we'll make, we'll set more records and you know, more videos. Thank you.